What's up guys? Today we're doing a high heat summer fragrances. This was a video requested from two subscribers who are from India. So shout out to India. I want to go there one day. And if I grow the community big enough, I want to go to India and meet all of you guys. And we're going to have a community event, but that's going to come in the future. Okay. But now we're going to talk about my favorite high heat summer fragrances. First summer fragrance that I recommend, which is my favorite summer fragrance. This is the one and done. This is the fragrance where if you just had it, you don't need any other summer fragrance. And it's also my most complimented summer fragrance and one of my most complimented fragrances, period. We're talking about Dolce Cabana Light Blue Intense. And this was the scent that I used to wear when I worked at Whole Foods. I put a clip of me chopping some fish or something like that, okay? This one here used to get me compliments from girls while I was working in the seafood section. I remember this one girl came up to me. She was like, you smell really good. And I thought she was making a joke. I'm like, what are you trying to say? I smell like fish or something. She's like, no, no, no. I really like your cologne. And I was like, okay, maybe she's being polite. A week later, a whole different customer literally said the same exact thing through the glass with fish in front of them. They're saying they like my cologne. I had another girl who I didn't really know that well, but she worked at Whole Foods there as well. And I was walking through the aisles and like she started following me around. I was kind of creeped out like, yo, why is this girl like following me around? And then she's like, oh my God, it's you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, you're the guy that smells good. Me and the other girl over there, we were talking about somebody smells really good in this building. We don't know who it was and it's you. Can you please tell me the fragrance name? I want to buy it for my boyfriend's birthday. This is an amazing fragrance. This one has a grapefruit opening. It has this oceanic kind of dry down. It is extremely attractive. This is your one and done summer fragrance. And here's a fun fact. I bought this one here for $60 from Marshalls for the 100 mil. This is my backup bottle, guys. When I finish with this one, we're gonna crack this one open, okay? So the one and done, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. The second one that I recommend for summertime high heat is going to be an affordable fragrance. A fragrance you're able to get for less than $30. I'll leave a link right there for you guys. And listen, I am not sponsored. I did it because I love the fragrance community and I wanna give back. But the fragrance we're talking about right here, guys, is gonna be Rasasi Hawass. Come on, focus, there you go. This one has that Paco Rabanne Invictus kind of smell with a Middle Eastern take on it. It has good performance. It is extremely sexy and I've gotten compliments on this one on the first day that I wore it. Now, personally, this is a fragrance I would wear for casual situations, like maybe going to Trader Joe's, maybe going to like the supermarket, grabbing a cup of coffee. This is the kind of vibe I would personally wear this fragrance for, but it smells like a clean deodorant and you could wear this literally for any situation any occasion because it's completely inoffensive and it also shines in the gym. So an affordable summertime high heat fragrance, Rasasi Hawass. And the third one we're going to talk about is Versace Per Ohm. Now, personally, I love wearing this one for casual situations as well, but this one right here could be a signature scent. You could wear it to the office. You could wear it to the gym. This is an extremely versatile fragrance. It smells like Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau de Toilette with a brighter take and more citruses. It is an extremely easy fragrance to wear and it's completely inoffensive. Anybody could pull this one off and you're also able to get it for a great price, 100 mil for around 50 to $60. This is the fragrance I wear when I'm going to see people but it's also not that important. It's like people I already know or like maybe like a casual kind of situation as well. Maybe like having brunch or something, okay? This is a fantastic fragrance to have for summertime high heat. This one right here is of course one of the best high heat summer fragrances, Aqua Dijon Profondo. This takes the Aqua Dijon DNA and modernizes it. Add in some abroxin in there and this salty marine aquatic vibe. The way I describe this fragrance is imagine you're on the beach sitting on the smooth rocks and the waves hit and you get a splash of water all over the place and there's like a slight aroma that you get from the mineral notes in the water. This is that in a bottle with added citruses. And this one right here also be Aqua Dijon Parfum in the ladies reactions battle. So yes, guys, this one right here is compliment certified. I was surprised. I was taken back like, wow, all these girls are saying they like it. Then I put it against another fragrance that pulls a ton of compliments and this one won, okay? If that video comes out later on, I'll link it right there, but I was shocked that this one beat that fragrance. I will not say the name because I do not want to spoil the video, guys. But again, this is one of my favorite fragrances for the summer. I love to wear this one when I'm running outside in high heat and it just projects and has this amazing sillage. 
but I will say the performance on this one is not that crazy, but for the high heat situations, it's perfect. Aqua Dijo Profondo. And now we're going to include a somewhat more of a gentleman's take on a summer high heat fragrance, okay? It's gonna be right here, YSL Lone Cologne Blue. This one right here has like this powdery, clean vibe. It takes the original EDT vibe, the Eau de Toilette version of this, and just makes it slightly more breezy, slightly more aquatic. This is perfect for casual days as well. This could be a signature in the office as well. This is a great fragrance for the high heat, for somebody looking for something a little bit more gentleman-like, okay? A little bit more mature. This one right here is a fantastic option. And of course, guys, the high heat status fragrance. You know my choice is going to be Creed Aventus Cologne. And personally, I like this one more than the original Creed. It takes that DNA and brightens it up, adding some citruses to it. I think it just takes the DNA to another level because I always wanted a fresher Aventus and it delivered with this one right here. Fun fact as well, every time I bring a girl to the fragrance studio, I'm like, tell me your top three favorite fragrances. Out of all the girls that I brought to my fragrance studio, this one always ends up in the top three. It is extremely addictive and this is a fragrance I wear for the high heat situations that require some status, okay? Now let's be honest, guys. Is status the most important thing in the world? No, but it is real. Let's not deny that it doesn't exist. And listen, you might wear this fragrance and never get a compliment or anybody recognizing it, but this is a fragrance I wear just in case, let's say I'm going to a networking event, a business event, or I'm going with a spicy senorita on a nice little date or whatever. I wanna make the best impression possible and that's when I reach for this fragrance right here. Now, do you need it? No, for the price point, guys, you're able to get probably all the fragrances that I listed in this video, or you're able to get Dolce Cabana the one intense like 10 times, okay? So you don't need to buy this one, but if you're that person who loves a status, high heat summer fragrance, this is gonna be the one, Creative Ventus Cologne. And I wanted to show you guys something creative, more of a gourmand summer fragrance, not that fresh and clean, bright citrus, but something completely different because you might be looking for something a little bit more unique. We're gonna have Mondorlo di Sicilia by Aqua di Parma. This one has like this Italian dessert, vanilla, almond, fruity vibe, and the fragrance, although sweet, I believe you're able to pull it off in the summertime. And shout out to my boy Electro, AKA the Cobra Jeff, for hooking me up with this bottle. He is not a sponsor, but he's a fan of the channel, also one of my boys for like 10 years now. Shout out to my boy for hooking me up with this one, not a sponsor. But again, guys, even if it sucks, he will know that I'm gonna tell you straight up. But again, this is not a blind buy fragrance, guys. This is a fragrance I will smell first because if you're not into sweet fragrances or gourmand fragrances, you're not going to like this one. But if you are looking for a summertime gourmand fragrance, this is a fantastic option. Mondolo di Sicilia by Aqua di Parma. <laughs> Before we end the video, guys, I wanted to make a clear message. If you currently own a Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum or Parfum, if you already own a Bleu de Chanel, if you already own Versace Dylan Blue, if you already own YSL, Y Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, or the Le Parfum, haven't smelled the elixir yet. I'm not trying to speed up the video. I feel like a disclaimer. You know those commercials you see when they're talking about a medicine, they're like, da -da 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 -da, ingredients solicited. If you did it, let's not get into that. But if you already have a fresh fragrance, guys, you don't need a high heat summer fragrance. These are just personally my favorites that I wear in the summertime. And please let me know yours because I still want to expand my summertime collection or maybe replace some of the ones that I currently have. So please let us know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy the video, give it a like, leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe. Have a good day, guys.